Welcome back to Sambo Stop Motion and in this video I'm very excited because even though I only spent like 20 bucks on it I have got my first static grass applicator. I've seen some pictures and videos of this work. It's actually made by Notch which is one of the best static grass applicator companies out there and that's what it is is it's a puffer bottle and it actually even comes with some glue and some static grass which is why I got this particular one and it's actually on the Amazon so I'll try to maybe leave a link or something um, so basically you put your grass in it and you just shake it and it creates static and then you can glue it down there's all this sort of information that I'll probably read a little bit Next awesome thing is, um, I actually did start on my mini displays, I wanted to start on this first one, um, without making videos and such, um, so I have this here, and you can see I added gravel and some dirt, over there I have a groundhog pool, here, I'll get up close, um, you can see I added a little stream, and uh, it's actually only hot glue and it looks half decent <laughs> just leave it at that so i'm gonna open up the static grass thing so i did just test it out on a piece of uh cardboard and it doesn't look like a professional static grass applicator would have done but it does look pretty darn good so i did open it up obviously and you have the applicator here and then you have your glue and your grass so open up this guy here this little tab will come out basically you put your grass in there and then you shut it shake rapidly take the cap off turn it upside down and puff rapidly after spreading the glue of course After that I let it dry for a little bit and then I'll shake off the excess. I didn't actually put a lot on this time, so I expect there to be a good bit. Well, and there it is. You can see the little display. Got um, grass all over it. And I'll go a little bit more over what I did. So if we go around, I just added grass like in a little field and around the edge. And I only had one size and color. And it was just kind of like a test. So I added a little pipe with some water running through with some moss there. That would come, water comes down. I had a little dirt in just for a little detail. Um, put the grass sporadically for a little bit. Down there I did just kind of for the fun of it last detail is the groundhog hole here we have a lot of groundhog holes in Pennsylvania in the US so that was about it for that little display and I was actually pretty excited about making it I had to wait a little bit um, till it could be all done but it was worth the wait for sure and this was the first one well technically the second one that I did it was the first one I did with foam um, 
second one I did of the little series I'm gonna do of them. I'm planning to do videos on all of them, so I also have um ones that I'm going to do. I'm going to do a road one. I'm going to do one with a barn. I'm going to do one with a house and sheds. I'm going to do one with um, a tobacco shed. So I'll probably end up doing the road one or working with the house one next. And the videos, um, I'm going to put a vote in that I want you to vote. It'll be at the top right hand corner of your screen. And I want you to either click one if you'd like the videos to just be one video shows the entire thing. Maybe like a 15 to 20 minute video or if you would like different parts maybe like up to five different parts on a build so I could show and even if I did it all in one I would probably still do like if I built a barn I'd probably make that a separate video if I was going to so make sure to vote there that would be very much a big help so that's about it for me and my static grass and my mini display Thanks for stopping by.